Today, only about 2% of Latino children in the United States are able to attend Catholic schools. I'm Antonio De La Huera Bruce with America Media. We're here in East Los Angeles at Dolores Mission School. Nationwide, Latinos are severely underrepresented in Catholic education. But here at Dolores Mission School, the story is different. This Jesuit-run school serves an overwhelmingly Latino and low-income community. They're already doing what Catholic education will have to do if it's going to stay relevant in the future of the church. Dolores Mission School is a TK through eighth grade school. Currently, we have about 250 students. We're located in the flats of Boyle Heights, which is considered one of the poorest areas of Los Angeles. We're about 97% Latino. 75% of my families earn less than 24,000 a year. So we are very specific about who we let enter our school because we want to get families who are what we would consider poor, but definitely rich in spirit and rich in their desires for their children. This is the eighth grade student body. They only have a few weeks left of school. And as you can see, they're proudly wearing their DMS sweatshirts. There's a lot of school pride. Yeah. And most of them, we already know where they're going to be going to high school. And so we're very excited just signing them up for the High School Scholars Program and helping them to begin to make the transition from eighth grade to high school. The whole idea that we're forming young men and women for and with others, mm -hmm. That's something that's actually very much a part of the formation. And the, and the children are learning their prayers and they're learning about being Catholic, but they're also very much learning about the values of respect, being men and women and for and with others. It's one of the really great advantages of just being a Catholic school. We often heard you're not good enough or you don't or you can't just because you came here speaking another language or because your parents are so-and-so. I think if I had listened to that, I never would have gone to Georgetown. I never would have become principal here. You know, I wouldn't have succeeded as much as I, as I was able to. Catholic schools are an incredibly important part of our American history. They're an incredibly important part of what sustains our communities, especially when you talk about immigration, when you talk about diversity, when you talk about social justice. As the principal of Dolores Mission School, how do I support the other schools in East LA? who are struggling to stay open. The Catholic Church writ large does not have the kinds of resources that it had then. The Catholic schools, they're very concentrated on the Eastern Seaboard. Latinos are not in those areas. We're in different areas of the country. We don't have the huge amounts of sisters anymore that can staff the schools. There's less and less of them. The Catholic school in the poor area of the city closes down because there's not a community with enough funds to support it. And we have Catholic schools in the very affluent neighborhoods that are doing just fine. How many families can really afford $7,000 a year when you're earning even just $30,000 a year? That's a huge percentage of your of your income. A lot of schools don't have the infrastructure in, ter in terms of raising money that we have at Dolores Mission School. So we're able to offer incredibly subsidized scholarships and tuition to our families. And that's not the reality for a lot of Catholic schools. I think a lot of Catholic schools just in general have low enrollment because you're charging what it actually costs. It's economics, it's demographics, and then of course there's all of the cultural issues. If you don't see anyone at the school that looks like you, talks like you, understands who you are, how are you going to feel comfortable there? What does the church have to gain from fully oh integrating gosh. Latinos? They have everything to gain. You know, um, the Latino population is extremely committed to their faith. But I think that the church has to gain future leaders. We have talent and we have lots of potential. I just don't think that we always have the resources that we need to get there. And I think it's the responsibility of those of us in these positions to look to those of us who are not and to find a way to lift them up. We need to change the way we think. Let's look at the makeup of our school. We need more Latino teachers. We need more Latino administrators. We need to really integrate the school into the Latinx community as part of it. We're a very unique school. We're a school where there are a lot of challenges, but there's also a lot of joy and a lot of success here. <laughs>